Hi, um, just thought I'd show you a bit of code. This is um, uh, something I've been working on uh, on the ZX81 for the past few days. It's not uh, not too far off now. It's a beggar time clone. Um, I don't remember seeing uh, a decent beggar time clone for the ZX81. Um, and it's 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 been fun working on it actually with it with a character based display um, so I've made it vertically scrolling uh, and I've used a back screen method you know the, the double buffering as you you say these days um, and everything is 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 dumped to the screen once you've um, worked out the display it it's it's just it's a very good method. It's been used on the Spectrum many, many, many times over the years. Uh, it's been used on. It's used in all games nowadays. But to use it on a ZX81 is quite fun, um, uh, especially on this game. This is a scrolling um, game. Uh, it's vertically scrolling. So let, let's 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 get into. Let's let's show you the game, shall we? Eighty-one. It's the emulator. And here we go, the eighty-one emulator. Now I'm going to put in the start address, the development start address. This will this will go down as I. Uh, when I produce the final release, so what we need to do is we need to load a memory block. And we need to load it to load it from the ZX81 code bb.bin, bb for big baps, is to address 20,000. And there we go, so we have to. Click on load file and then we can run the game. And here we go. This is one of the later levels actually that I've been testing out. Um, it's quite difficult. There you go, you see the bacon down there, you see the sausages, uh, you see a mushroom chasing you and the fried egg up at the top. Yeah, some of the collision detection needs work. Um, And yeah, I have a look up on this level. I think that's level design. Um, reset that. But here, here we. I mean, I'm, I'm going to swap that out. But um, here, here we we have part of the main loop. Um, as you can see, uh, it's it's got this this call to dump, and dump is the the, the routine that basically transfers 768 bytes. It's, no, it's not 768. It's only 23 lines, so it's uh, 736 bytes to the screen, mostly through LDI instructions. Um, then obviously it has to skip a byte for the the 118 new line character at the end of each line. Um, and then it carries on and it does that 23 times and it's um, let's show you that routine shall we if we, we can find that's it so it sets up all the parameters it finds the you know, it takes the the window X because it's a scrolling game so we multiply that by 32 we find find the address then we t find the address of the physical screen from 16396 the system variable um, we, we skip the first halt and then 23 times we just transfer 32 bytes across skip an extra byte uh, we ink E rather than DE because we never go over a, a, a two byte boundary and that's it so we, um, it, it, it's, it's actually quite Liberating to develop on the ZX81. Uh, when when you've had had to 
draw your own graphics and, and, and do things in colour and, and, and produce sounds and find music and stuff. When you have no sound, when you have no colour, when you have no no real graphical ability, it's quite liberating. You, you can just sort of, well, you know, <coughs> I'm going to concentrate on the gameplay. And that's 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 always the the fun of, of, of this sort of stuff. It's it's um, that's what I've always done. I've always concentrated on the gameplay and the game designs. Certainly on the spectrum, it was the game design that was that was the most important thing. And you know, I've never followed the mantra that you should try and push the spectrum, um, you know, to, to, to produce more colours, um, because that's 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 not about that's not going to give you a better game, that's just going to give you more headaches, it's going to limit your gameplay, limit the, you know, what you can actually do with the hardware, because you're going to have to spend so much time, you know, producing, you know, or waiting for the scan line to reach the end of the line, and then go down to the next line and think, well, you know, you're going to have so much less CPU time to do something useful, and that's why I'll never write a high-res game on the ZX81 also, because you know, it's about gameplay. Look, if I want to write a high-res game, I'll write it on the Spectrum. I won't write it on the ZX81. If I want to write a game that has lots and lots of colours in it, I won't write it on the Spectrum. I'll write it on the, the Amstrad CPC-464. You know, it, it's, it's as simple as that. You don't, you don't limit your gameplay and you don't limit your designs by uh, trying to prove to people how clever you are by, by doing certain things on a certain machine. 